Welcome to Cinemassacre's Monster Badness, reviewing some of the best monster movies throughout the ages. We started with the silent horror films of the 1920s, we made our way through the classic chillers of the 1930s, and the monster mash from the 40s. After World War II, monster movies were no longer scary. People were obviously more afraid of the horrors of real life. So, with the atomic age, a new genre of science fiction cinema was born. This was the B-movie age. The 1950s were all about monsters. Monsters created by scientific experiments born from nuclear radiation or alien invaders. We had giant ants, giant spiders, giant Gila monsters, killer brains, Godzilla, and oh god. There's a lot of good monster movies to pick from, but I'm going to go with The Creature from the Black Lagoon. The creature, or Gilman as he's called, is so popular that he's often considered to be the last of the Universal Studio monsters. The creature on land was played by Ben Chapman, and underwater, Rick O'Browning, who had to hold his breath for four minutes at a time while wearing the creature suit. And neither one of these guys were included in the film's credits to give a little more mystery to the creature. The cinematography was brilliant, especially the underwater stuff, which was pretty innovative for its time. I dare to say it would look good in color, but the black and white tones sure do look gorgeous. The movie was originally shown in 3D. That would have been neat. Julia Adams is the creature's love interest, and again, if he would have just stayed in the water, he would have been fine. But then again, those scientists had no business in his lagoon. Two sequels were made, Revenge of the Creature and The Creature Walks Among Us. And to close this review, I got a nice little piece of trivia for you. Revenge of the Creature marks the screen debut of Clint Eastwood. Well, maybe so, Doc, but there were four rats in there when I changed my lights. Now well, a lot of people know that, but here's something else. In Back to the Future 3, Marty's getting ready to go back to the Old West. At the moment, it's supposed to be 1955. That's the year Revenge of the Creature came out. Now, what's he say? Clint Eastwood never wore anything like this. And what's that? Nice touch. 